President Dwight D. Eisenhower stated in 1960. As well as everywhere else. As they're doing this. This time zooming in to see what happens at the end. That ocean rises. These are going to be the first to go. And you know something? If we allow global warming to continue and we have fresh water rivers that are actually flowing into saltwater oceans on both polar ends, thanks to global warming. <sighs> These people are going to be gone. So even though they're uh, real happy with the tax cuts, which benefit them, the expense of everybody else, well, they're getting the royal shaft too, is my point. My point is, since our Earth, it's not the one percent primary benefactors of society's rape on the Earths. Nice beach. Other than all the garbage. April 11th, 2001, on the Diana Ream Show, the local radio talk show here, I addressed the question to Dick Cheney, because I say the most important question to put to any high-ranking official is not what do you think about UFOs, or have you seen one, the, the more, most important question is have you ever been briefed on the subject? Did someone walk in your office and tell you what's going on? Because if someone walks into the President's office or some high-ranking official and briefs him on the subject of UFOs, it is for real. It's not imaginary as the government has been saying for 60 years. So I asked uh, Mr. Cheney, this is three months after he became the vice president, I asked him on the air, and this is still on Diane Reem's archives, Mr. Cheney and all your jobs in government, have you ever been briefed on the subject of UFOs, and if so, when was it and what were you told? And Mr. Cheney said, if I had been briefed on that subject, it probably would have been classified, and I wouldn't be talking about it basically shows to me this thing's for real, it's classified, it's secret, and the people who control it do not want it to come out. Well, just one thing I forgot to In 2002, right here in the Washington, D.C. area, there was yet again a airspace jet chase by two F-16 jet interceptors charged, uh, but which were chasing a bluish object right outside D.C. In fact, we have one of the key eyewitnesses here in this room today. This received some play in the Washington Post and a little bit of mainstream media, then of course fell into the black hole of the media, never to be discussed again. What were these objects? that were able to outperform F-16 interceptors in a post-9-11 America. What is going on? Bush's first words in response to the September 11th attacks were, well, there's one terrible pilot. And that's not worthy of prominence in our mainstream media, by our mainstream media. Doesn't that strike you as a bit odd? 
because Bush witnessed the impact where obviously hundreds were dying instantaneously. The first words he chose to say were, well, there's one terrible pilot. Mockery. As if the pilot's error had caused the catastrophe. And as if all those people didn't matter in the least bit. I was sitting outside uh, the, the, the classroom waiting to go in, and I saw an airplane hit the tower. Of a, of a t you know, the TV was obviously on, and I, I used to fly myself, and I said, well, there's one terrible pilot. Boy, 9-11 sure was convenient, wasn't it? To have people stop asking questions. You know, if you really think that just those planes took those towers down, next time you're having dinner, take a toothpick and break it in two and toss it at your salt shaker. And ask yourself if you think those craft alone took those 110-story buildings down. What's it gonna be, people? I wish 